Happy holidays, everyone. And welcome to the last market update for 2021. Let's take a look back at the year. And we'll look ahead to 2022. Hello, and welcome to the Rocket City Homes channel. Everybody is asking us what we think the market is going to do in the next year. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But first, let's compare inventory and sales. Inventory right now is the hang up. It has been the problem all year long, and it's likely to continue as we head into the new year. We started 2021 with almost 600 homes on the market in Madison County. And we're ending the year with about the same number. But the inventory bottomed out in May and June with a little over 450 homes available this past year. The good news is that the inventory did start to go back up this fall. And that's what we want to see continue. We want more homes on the market and we want to have more options for our current and future buyers. Another early indicator of the 2022 market is price decreases. Back when our market was peaking in the spring and early summer, it was rare to see a home with a price decrease. Most homes were selling at or above the list price. Here at the end of the year, we're starting to see more and more homes with price decreases. We predict that price decreases will continue as more inventory comes up on the market. Median sales prices have also go down just a little bit. Pricing peaked mid-year at about $332,000. The median sales price for November was $327,000. So we will likely be in that same range as we finish out December. So now onto the question that we've been getting the most. Is the market cooling down? It is completely normal for the market to slow down for this time of year. Fall and winter are almost always going to be slower than spring and summer. So this could simply be a seasonal adjustment? But it could also be that we're coming off the highs from last year. However, we are still very much in a strong seller's market. Homes that are on the market in move-in ready condition that are priced correctly are selling in just a day or two, usually with multiple offers. So for 2022, what's the market gonna do? Let's look at some indicators and projections for the next year. Whether you're buying or selling, these are things that you're gonna wanna pay attention to. First, let us say that it is very difficult to predict future home sales. But we're gonna give it our best professional opinion on what we think next year may bring. This year's sales are about the same as 2020's were, which were better than 2019. Moving forward, we do expect home prices to get back to that normal appreciation around 4 to 6% per year. So you shouldn't expect another 25% appreciation in your home prices. Buyers who are looking to buy a year from now will also likely see higher prices. Sellers who are moving locally should expect their next home to cost more a year from now as well. Investors buying rental properties or homeowners buying a newly built home or even first time home buyers may wonder if prices are too high and if they should delay buying. We anticipate that prices will continue to go up. Just not at the same rate that we've seen over the last 12 to 18 months. In addition, mortgage rates are expected to increase. They've been at historic lows below 3%. And currently they're sitting at a little more than 3%. Most economists expect interest rates to increase this year to somewhere around 3.5% because of the inflation. Home sales are predicted to increase this next year also. So we expect to have more home sales next year than we did this year. This year was better than last year for us sales-wise, so we're headed in the right direction there. We just need more homes available so that buyers will have more options to choose from. According to the Mortgage Brokers Association, or sorry, Mortgage Bankers Association, 2020 should be a strong year for the housing market. And we totally agree. Just remember not to believe everything you read in the news. There's a lot of headlines meant to scare us instead of just reporting the facts. Even at Realtor.com, there's an article out about foreclosures being up right now. Well, duh, of course they are. <laughs> we had a moratorium going on for foreclosures because of COVID, so there weren't very many last year. Which means there will be more now that the moratorium has been listed. <laughs> lifted. <laughs> but is it significant for the housing market? No. Foreclosures and sort sales represent less than 1% of sales in our market today. They will not be a significant damper for our market for this next year. On a good note in the news, we've heard some exciting things coming from Huntsville and Madison County. There are plans to revamp the old Coca-Cola factory downtown with residential, restaurant, office, and commercial spaces. Our downtown is really growing. If you haven't been to downtown Huntsville lately, you should definitely go. It's pretty cool all the stuff they've built and incorporated a lot of fun things to do down there too. Another great headline for us here in North Alabama is the announcement that a second Amazon Fulfillment Center is coming. This should bring up roughly another 900 more jobs for our city. All right, there's our recap of 2021 and our forecast for 2022. We hope you all have a wonderful New Year's weekend. 
We look forward to putting out more helpful content about all things Rocket City and real estate in this next year. Let us know if there's something that you want us to talk about here. And if you have any comments or questions, just put them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.